step out, does a video on Sunday as well. Hello simmers, sinners and civilians of King's Landing. It is a new year and also multiple new months in that year and thus a new me. And that new me is actually... Reveal yourself! Take that thing off of your mouth. Alison Hightower. I am her and she is me. Someone actually told me I look like Olivia Cook on TikTok and I mean, keep them coming. Let them Olivia Cook. Although I'm personally team black till I die, I am a full-time Alison apologist and I will not apologize for that. She's innocent, she does no wrong. As we all know, I have never liked anything casually in my life and I love TV. I love teen dramas, reality TV. Previously on Stuffo Sims, I've recreated Dance Mums and the Love Island Villa in The Sims. And once upon a time, Game of Thrones had me hooked by the West Sea. But I, like many others, was scorned with fire and blood. Winter came, but like many sexual encounters in my life, I did not. I swore to never return to the series, and yet here I am, drag on these nuts across your screen for the Game of Thrones prequel. Except it is in The Sims, and I will be giving the characters exactly what they deserve, which is nothing. She deserves nothing! I mean, we know these bitches aren't gluten intolerant because they're constantly inbred. Anyway, without further ado, the only thing that can destroy the house of the dragon was itself. It's not itself, it's me, Stephanie O'Sims. Firstly, of course, we have Rhaenyra Targaryen. She is slaying the house of the dragon down boots. Also, whilst we're on the topic of the Targaryens, why can they not think of a new name to save their life? We have Aemon, Daemon, Daemon, Skip, Lena, skip. Lena, but when does this game get fucking good? Each name is just a COVID variant of the last one. Moving on to the non-Valerian. Also, you cannot tell me that Valerian is not just spicy simlish. We have Alicent Hightower, Otto, emphasis on the toe, Sir Krusty Cole. And finally, we have the Strongs, Harwin Strong. I need a big boy. And Lara Strong. Listen, if Laris was around today, I do believe that he would wear a fedora and have several restraining orders. He would get told that you can't come within six feet of this woman and he would ask for more feet. <laughs> now, obviously the house of the dragon needs the house. So I have added some iconic lots from the Game of Thrones cinematic universe, such as Sims Landing, complete with throne room, Open dungeons, weirwood tree, and Alice's room. What, what was, was that? that? And we also have Dragonstone, the Sept of Baylor. And I also made the dragon pit myself. Like, I finna be in the dragon pit. There are no dragons in The Sims 4, so I obviously had to download a lot of custom content and mods for this video. Like the royalty mod that I downloaded on Curse Forge, who is also the sponsor of this video. What? Sometimes downloading custom content and mods can feel like walking down a dark alleyway where a man in a trench coat offers you mods, but instead when he opens up his trench coat, it's 752 viruses. But with Curse Forge, there are no sketchy links. And in fact, it installs the custom content for you. It is so easy. My dog downloaded this dragon overlay for dogs. <laughs> Instead of malware, all you have to worry about is what is my sim gonna malware? To the club. Just like these old maiden type of clothes I downloaded for this video. And a crown. Can you drop this? Speaking of kings, the royalty mod lets you actually be one. This mod actually carried this entire video on its back. This mod has crippling scoliosis now. And of course, there are more modern options too if you are not also making a House of the Dragon video. I recently made Emma Chamberlain's House in The Sims and I used a lot of Hey Harry custom content to do that. So now I can move my sim self in there and squat in her house. There's a new expansion pack that has just come out. All of my custom content and mods are about to simultaneously combust, but I... I'm about to bust because the Curse Forge app keeps all of your custom content and mods up to date. There will be a link in my description to check out Curse Forge. If you don't click the link, I will forge a curse on you. And thank you again to Curse Forge for kindly sponsoring this video. Now, some would say this is a show about dragons and incest, but I incest you listen to me right now. That is not the case. I would argue that this is a high camp royal core homoerotic fantasy. You're gay! And I am choosing to start and end that story with Gaynera and Alison. <laughs> Talk Alison. Ally. Ask that bitch the cloud gaze. We're about to put the gaze in cloud gaze. <laughs> I mean, the closet is literally made of glass. We see you, see as, you as you are. are. This is grade A queerhood under the weirwood. Anyway, anyway, as the heir to the Seven Kingdoms, she will need a sworn protector. Now, unfortunately, Harwin Strong is already head of the Kingsguard, which means we get Krusty Cole. <laughs> 
Krispy Kreme is the reason for medieval ACAB or Kingsguard are bastards. <laughs> One thing about Damon, he's gonna come back to King's Landing every other episode after doing a toxic little side quest. <gasps> I look pretty good for a dead bitch. Hey, Uncle. I am going to make an environment that is so toxic. Alison, go take your bestie to get ready for her coronation. Although I would personally like to offer myself as the throne that Rhaenyra graces her royal behind on. Oh, I'm horny. I wasn't ready for him to walk in. He caught me off guard. Oh, Ooh, stunning. stunning. Yeah. She's perfect. She's ready. The realm, the realm has, has a new heir, heir and, her and her name is Rhaenyra Targaryen. Now, now prance, my queen. Fuck out my way when you see me. Who the fuck? Hello? Slaynice is over here being Rich bitter because she's the queen that never was. She is an old, old maiden, maiden type, type of, of bitch. Shoes. The lords would sooner like set the realm to the torch, torch than, than see a woman ascend the iron throne. throne. Then I say, yeah. let it burn. Crispy creamer, but I gotta keep an eye out for Rainier. Oh my god. Ew, why are you all up in my shit? I can fucking smell your breath. <laughs> Meanwhile, Otto, Alison, and Laris are over here plotting for a fotting. Roaches! I mean, this man's a scheming little weasel and he says, Let's go put your mother's dress on and seduce. I mean, comfort the king. I got my mom's dress on tonight. Otto Rag is basically pimping out his teenage daughter right now, and for that, he deserves the guillotine. This man's playing Dungeons and Dragons when he could just go outside. <laughs> my dad's the hand of the king. I'll give a handy to the king. Yeah! <laughs> A child. I want waffle fries. So Vizzy T's current options for the Rizzy T are a teen bride or his eight-year-old cousin. Help! I wonder, I wonder who, who he'll, he'll choose. choose. Gather the council, alert the, well, hopefully the authorities, but. <laughs> I have decided to take a new wife. I intend to marry. <laughs> the Lady Alison Hightower. Hightower. Huh? Did I resent Alison at this moment in the show? Yes, she poisoned my water supply, burnt my crops, killed my firstborn. Do you mind if I just scooch on any? <laughs> Drifting love, no, no. I don't think a single person other than Otto is happy about this marriage. But it's over. You don't exist. Fuck you, Alison. Clap if you think she should suffer. Anyway, Viserys and Alison have been married off screen because the Hot D producers decided that's not an essential plot point, which means it is now time for Rhaenyra's rebellion. Bye. Damon has returned from war. By war, I mean he just offed his wife. I just offed my wife. Listen, if my dad married my best friend, I too would have no choice but to fuck my uncle. What was that? Viserys and Damon's parents were siblings, so you could say incest runs in the family. And you know what's only one letter away from brother? Brothel. <laughs> We'll sneak out of the secret passage and go there. And of course, if you're going to commit sex crimes, you need the appropriate attire, which you would think would be none. But any felony in this show requires a crime cloak. We're about to enter the pleasure house through the front door. Call it a home oh, door. Yeah. <laughs> Humble queen. That's the people's princess right there. <laughs> I saw that. No, why is she feeling flirty? Related by, by chance, chance, lovers by, by choice. choice. Oh, but would you look True. at that? There's no romance options. It's almost like they're uncle and niece. I refuse to go any further with this plot, so I think that's our cue to dip. But she still has her maidenhood, and she's just been edged all night, so maybe she wants to get some maiden wood. It felt like he was rubbing his wood in my hole and starting a bomb. And you know what? At this point in the series, Krispy Kreme smash after this episode. Smash in the head. And they went all night long. Well, it took him all night to get his armor off and then Mr. Two Pump Chunk finished hungry. it. I hope you're hungry. 0.3 seconds. <laughs> she looks like a whole damn clitoris and he still won't be able to find it. The armor stays on during sex, apparently. Anyway, now that that's over with, let's ask him to be woohoo partners and nothing more. You want me to be your whore? Yes. And this is where Crispy Cut Cole is born. He breaks his king's guard oath of celibacy and somehow that's Slaynira's fault. I mean, he wasn't thinking about celibacy when he was balls deep in the celibacy. Am I gonna come with you when I'm coming for the crown right now, bitch? Everybody now knows that her and Damon went to the brothel. Everybody knows that she fucks you. You have defiled my daughter. You are a pedophile. You imprinted on my daughter. Yeah, kick him in the crotch. He's trying to make crotch goblins with your fucking daughter. It's my daughter. When Damon gave up his crown, Viserys said he could have anything. And he wants Rhaenyra. A stone for a stone, bitch. I banish thee to Dragonstone. So Alicent's fucking here. Rue, when, when was, was this? this? Tell me the truth now. Did you pop thy royal pussy like a pinball? <laughs> I never no, fucked I, my uncle, I never touched I my uncle, I never came on my uncle. Of fucking course, Alison and Crispy are trauma bonding over the fact that neither of them can have Rhaenyra. She's a fucking bitch! 
That's my sexually repressed work husband. And you know what? Neither of them can have her because Rhaenyra is about to be betrothed. Viserys has been planning on using Rhaenyra as a human notes app apology to the Valarians for rejecting their marriage proposal to their eight-year-old daughter. And I know what you're thinking. Cousins make dozens. Eh, wrong. The fruits of his loin are exclusively fruity. Gay son or fought daughter? Why not both? Go propose. I'm sure you're familiar with being on your knees. Sucking dick and cock. Oh my god. <laughs> Who is five? Go, 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 go. This cannot be a good sign for what is to come in their marriage. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna come in their marriage. Your <laughs> husband is gay. <laughs> Are those wedding bells I hear, or is Cersei Lannister just bald, butt ass naked, and walking the streets Shame. of King's Landing? <laughs> It's time for the Black Wedding. The Valarians are making their entrance. They are serving Gilda Glamour at the Met Gala Ball. They stay dripped out. <laughs> and Damon, uninvited as always. Everywhere he goes, this man is an Avengers level threat. But for once, there is an even more galactic level threat. Step Mummy's here and she's got her green dress on tonight. You'll make me sick. That's why I got green on. <laughs> Congratulations, stepdaughter. When Rhaenyra said she wanted to call her mummy, this is not what she meant. Shall we do a ye old flash mob? <laughs> It's a bit awkward that her ex is at her wedding, but I suppose this is a family event. Uncle, what are you doing at my wedding? You ghosted me. Take me to Dragonstone and make me your wife. Are you kidding me? Right in front of my salad and you did, did it at my wedding day. Dinner. Jealousy's a disease Then this man is. Ew, he's sick. He needs help. Lenor's lover Joffrey is also here. I couldn't be bothered to make the actual Joffrey, so I just have Joffrey and grab. And he is going to attempt to form a whore alliance with Crispy Cole. Do you want to form? An alliance. But Crispy took that as a threat. He's in his homophobic era. These, These gays, gays, they're trying, they're trying to, kill to kill me. me. <laughs> they don't know. Harwin, escort the princess out of here. I would also like Harwin to throw me over his shoulder. I need to be fucking spayed. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's dying? <gasps> what? What? What a beautiful bridesmaid. Well, I wasn't expecting that. What the actual fuck? It was the servant. She came to serve. I was going to send him to jail because he's an incel. He belongs in a cell. Look at him celebrating. Yeah. Anyway, should we marry Lanera before anyone else dies? Viserys, I'm looking at you. I am hers and she is mine. Oh my God. You can just hear people crying oh in the God. fucking background. Till death do us part, which could literally be tomorrow. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Tell me. It is not a new day. I just wanted to put on a new shirt, some new jeans. New jeans is also something this family never has. Their jean pool is the size of a fucking kiddie pool. Anyway, we have now time skip 15 years into the future because this show has the age progression of The Sims 4. I mean, one minute you're a child bride and the next you're walking in on your teenage son busting a royal nut out the window. Alison goes slap some Alicents into him. Bitch. You are no son of mine. Nobody's aged a day except for Viserys. He has aged like fucking rotting milk. Listen, if I had to shag the king, there wouldn't be an ounce of moisture in my puss. I would fling myself from the nearest high tower. In case you're confused, because they have unprotected eye contact on this show and 15 people are pregnant. On Team Crack, we have Rhaenyra and Lenor's very legitimate strong boys, Joceris and Lucerus Targaryen. <laughs> you didn't see that. We also have Damon and Lena's two kids, Bela and Raina, but... Oh, oh, she, she passed, passed away. away. All, All right. right. And on Team Broccoli, we have Viserys and Alison Seaman Demons. If you can't keep up, neither can Viserys. He can't even keep track of his jizzy teeth. <laughs> Anyway, over to Dragonstone. We are about to host a funeral for Lena, who was tragically eaten by her own dragon. She was just confused. She's 181 years old. That is not the Ender Dragon. That is the Elder oh, Dragon. Bitch. Let us begin the funeral procession. Did not mean to put a romantic icon on the family group chat. <laughs> Burn the body. Everyone is giving the side eye to Rhaenyra's children. I don't know why they are the spitting image of their father. If you took a picture of Lena and then spat on it, the king is basically on his deathbed but not even that will stop him from coming to defend his daughter. You're the only bitch in this house I ever respected. Now, now limp, limp my, my king. king. <laughs> Who dare to question my daughter? That is no true Valaria. Say it. Her Keep sons are bastards. And she is a whore. Keep my wife's, I mean niece's name out of your mouth. <laughs> I mean, at least we were already having a funeral. Damon and Rhaenyra are mysteriously missing from the funeral. And there is suspiciously two people putting the fun in funeral over here. But bitch, I can't see, I can't see who the producers forgot to turn the fucking lights on. Anyway, now that that's over with, we need to make sure that nobody ever 
ever accuses Rhaenyra of being a cuckolding <laughs> slut ever again. Rhaenyra just can't get a hard win. But I mean, how are you going to do a paternity test to prove who the dad is if there is no dads? We have to get the crime cloaks on. Who let you in here? Fight for Rhaenyra's love. <laughs> You may have won the battle, but you still lose the war. I just burned my eggs. And all that was left of him were his little boots after he was burnt the house down. Boots, Houston, I'm deceased. This show really said burn the gays. Death, Death to, to all, all of them. them. You need to be. Wait, you didn't think I'd commit a hate crime? Oh. It was all a lie. It was all a cover up. I actually shipped them away on a boat. They're bald and in the witness protection program. And I've also pinned it all on Laris. He was spotted at the scene sniffing their boots. And for that, he goes to the dog house and not the dogs he likes. <laughs> Speaking of things that should be dead, Vega has no rider. She is unridden, as many are in their old age. And we're gonna steal the dragon. Go catch that dragon like a Pokemon while everyone eats their mutton. Eamon heard he had to slay the dragon and did a death drop. Yes, yes Mama Vega, you've been slayed. Look at these two getting along. They get on like a house on fire. The, the house burned down. down. I'm not gonna lie, these two are my favorite on the show, Emma and Olivia. They can Eiffel tell me any day. Fuck you. They would still be lovers if you hadn't made them enemies. Everybody sit down. We're doing toast. A toast to my nephews. Two very strong boys. Why did you just cheers to that, Rhaenyra? <laughs> Jace, give him fucking hell for that one. Give him hell. I just stole your bitch. I'm going to send the kids to go intercept Axe Wound. Apart from Helena, because she is unproblematic and neurodivergent. <laughs> That is my mother's dragon. I mean, Lena's body isn't even cold. In fact, it's probably quite warm. That is a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, bastards? <laughs> Your mom's a whore and you're a bastard. <laughs> Why would it end? Hey, Luke, what have you got there? Okay! Let me just give you one fuck me up, fam. <gasps> Don't you know I'm still the jewel when I walk in the room? Damn, what a little snitch. I can't believe he's gonna go tell his mummy on me. I didn't see that one coming. And neither did fucking he. Wink if you're a little bitch. <laughs> one eye open when I'm sleeping. And now's the moment where a normal mum would go, shit, I'm gonna have to change my kid's name from Eamon to Imond. But not this crazy bitch. It's an eye for an eye. I shall have her son's eye in return. Two queens stand before me. Good luck and please fuck it up. Release, Release the, the gun, Alison. Give me the fucking I and no one gets hurt. Oh, Alison, no, you've gone too far. Oh, oh, I? What have I done but what was expected of me? Let her go. Where, Where is duty? duty? Where, Where is, is sacrifice? sacrifice? It is trampled, trampled beneath your pretty foot, foot once again. again. And you would know about feet, you foot selling whore. <laughs> Exhausting, wasn't it? <laughs> Hiding behind the cloak of your own righteousness. But now they see you as you are. A bitch! <laughs> Don't worry, mother. I have the fattest fucking D on the planet. And by D, I mean dragon. Oh, oh my god. god. If this is House of the Dragon, then the house is fucking collapsing. You should see a therapist. Maybe you'll change the way you act. I mean, you can really cut the sexual tension with a knife. And I mean, what would happen if you just called Cold Alison Tara. up? What would happen if you just kissed right now? Oh. We've been playing the Game of Thrones, but plot twist. The game is chess and there are two queens on this board. Checkmate, bitch. Because what is better than one queen? Two. Oh. They have been plotting all along to usurp the king. That was them in the tent earlier. Roll the tapes, roll the tapes, and everything is right in the world. Take, Take the king away, away to a nice early retirement on the beach. That's what he deserves. <laughs> And so Rhaenyra and Alison were coronated together in the dragon clip, but history will say they were just close friends. By royal decree, we will be executing all the men. I wish you well. In the seven in hells. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I really- Burn let's, in hell. Let's, let's. And that was the pre-come to the winter that never came. Anyway, no need for season two. You're welcome, HBO. I just saved you a lot of money. Now give me the money. Give me $200. If you haven't watched the show already, honestly, you probably still can without any spoilers because this video has gone so off the rails. I mean, this is what should have happened. And if it did, my little baby would still be alive. 
Anyway, sorry this video took me so long. Thank you for being patient. I recently got my ADHD diagnosis. Who could have seen that one coming? Not Amond. <laughs> so turns out I've just been raw dogging that for 23 years. But I'm trying out medication at the moment and my brain is scrambled. It is egg on toast. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am also working on a video for what the fuck is the pack called? Get Growing Together. <laughs> so hopefully that will be out soon. And thank you again to Curse Forge for sponsoring this video. And thank you to my Patreons for always supporting me. Look at them all on the screen. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch. I just want to eat you. I get eat you. Just